Ever since the release of Star Wars The Rise of Skywalker's teaser trailer over three months ago, it left a lot of fans very excited and hyped for this movie ever since they heard the laughter of Darth Sidious slash Palpatine at the very end of the footage over at Star Wars Celebration. This is Mike Zero, make sure to subscribe if you are new to the channel for future Star Wars content. So that I believe is of course the true driving force for the hype of Episode 9 is Palpatine and his involvement in this story. It is quite surreal, the fact that Palpatine Palpatine is making a full return in the story. He's not going to be a mere cameo or a side character. Palpatine literally is the main focus in the rise of Skywalker, specifically in the second and third acts of episode nine. And what's really exciting about all of this is that we are going to see J.J. Abrams take on the character and compare it to how it was done between the originals and the prequels. Now these past couple of weeks or so, we've been learning a whole lot more about this film. And when it all comes down to one of the concept art descriptions. This is where things begin to get very exciting for episode 9. Now specifically, what's really intriguing about all of this is that a description of both Rey and Kylo Ren holding hands during one of their force bond sequences, where it's described that Kylo Ren is using the ability of flow walking remotely, where it said that Kylo was holding some kind of strange red holocron device in his other hand, where both Rey and Kylo are surrounded by darkness. It's described that they are surrounded by darkness and beginning to hear the laughter of both Palpatine and Supreme Leader Snoke in the distance, where it's said to eventually lead to a scene in which Kylo Ren witnesses both figures of Snoke and Palpatine face to face in a standoff, where they both appear to have aggressive expressions towards each other, where Palpatine has his arm out and his fingers spread towards Snoke. However, it's said that Palpatine appears to be in his Sith spirit form in the flashback slash vision before both Rey and Kylo Ren's eyes, where Palpatine is in a confrontation with Snoke with a large body of fire in the background. It's described that in the holocron, Kylo is holding one what once belonged to Darth Sidious and that Kylo is witnessing moments of Palpatine's past in this specific scene. So let's go over a couple of parts about this and why this is a major clue or a hint, if you will, as to Snoke being Palpatine all along, only during the events of The Force Awakens and The Last Jedi. So let's go over a couple of parts about this. Now, Kylo Ren is said to actually own the Sith holocron that once belonged to Darth Sidious. Now, you guys may recall that it was Luke Skywalker who actually owned this during his time on Ahch 2 within his hut, and Rey actually collected this of course, when she stormed the tree library during the events of, of episode 8. However, during the force bond sequence, it's actually described that Kylo Ren is literally able to take an object through space and time from Rey, where he is now holding the actual holocron of Darth Sidious slash Palpatine. Now, what I like so much about this is that this actual holocron allows Kylo Ren to see visions and or elements of Palpatine's past, where in this specific scenario, we have a moment in which both Snoke and Palpatine are in a confrontation, facing each other face to face here in, a, in an, an aggressive matter, where Palpatine is said to be in his Sith spirit form, holding his arm out in front of Snoke with his fingers spread as if he is doing something to Snoke. Now, in case you guys did not know, Palpatine was always searching for Snoke even while he was alive, well before the events of Return of the Jedi. I don't know if you guys read a lot of the books and or novels out there, but Palpatine had a great interest in the unknown regions since he actually felt a dark and sinister presence out there, which was indeed Snoke hiding and creating the infancy of the First Order. So this specific scene I think is the biggest clue that of course Snoke was Palpatine all along in The Last Jedi and in The Force Awakens. Take note that in the take note that in The Last Jedi, you know, Snoke does say familiar phrases to what Palpatine says. You know, of course, like fulfill your destiny and how he calls uh, Ray my child, come closer my child. Palpatine says lines like that in other forms of canon material out there that falls under Disney and Lucasfilm. So with that being said, from what this seems is that it seems that Disney is setting up a moment in which both Kylo Ren and Rey witness the very moment and or sequence in which the Sith spirit of Palpatine is literally going into the mind of Snoke himself which would explain as to why Snoke has a very similar injury on his head 
to Palpatine, you'll notice he has the same exact crack on his head, that little crevice. And I think that is all due in part to the Sith spirit of Palpatine infiltrating the body of Snoke. Again, like I say, we do know that George Lucas wrote in a very specific connection, a big connection between both Snoke and Palpatine in The Rise of Skywalker that is going to change how we view all eight movies that come before this one, which is really big. It tells us that something huge is on our way to really change the game here when it comes to the Star Wars franchise and what kind of Star Wars lore is going to be introduced and or demonstrated by J.J., George, and Chris to really make us view some of the characters in a different light. Anyways, guys, drop a comment below. Let me know what you think about all of this in the comments. And if you guys did enjoy the content for today, do make sure to drop a thumbs up on this video to support the channel. I thank you all so very much for the kind support, and I'll catch you guys next time.